everyone, welcome back to Rich Reviews and you join us on our second day of our awesome European driving trip. We're just driving out now from our hotel in Baden-Baden. It's pretty early in the morning for us, so it's just gone half past seven, so nice early morning start. We're going to be doing some awesome driving. Today is the first driving of hitting the passes, so join us later on where we introduce the passes that we'll be kicking off with today. Today's driving is taking place in the Black Forest area and most of the main switchback driving or pass driving we're doing today is on the B500 um, which is what we've been driving now and it's incredible the switchbacks is it's just awesome and this is my first experience of driving like this and it's just incredible it's what these cars were designed for and to give you an idea of how we're pushing on going around the corners the temperature on my 458 the temperature on the front tires is now 49 slash 50 degrees so that's pushing on quite a bit that's the hottest they've ever been certainly when i've been driving them anyway and these michelin pilot sport 4s's are working out absolutely awesome they're they're gluing the car to the road um, so it's fantastic and i'm following mostly behind the, the 812 GTS. So this is our cars here that are on this route with us. We've got our five cars, the 458 Spider, we've got the 488 um, Pista there, we've got the 812 GTS, got my 458 Spider and this GT3 901.1 which you'll recognise which is the car that I reviewed on our channel. So the driving at the moment just on this first day is bloody awesome. So, and we've got loads more to come of this. It's, all the driving is going to be like this, so just incredible. If you're not subscribed, guys, get yourself bloody subscribed because this content is going to be the, some of the best we've ever produced. B500 for a while to get a coffee and some ice cream so we're in the little town of Wolfach. This is absolutely stunning and they love the cars. I mean look, got my 458 parked on the side here. It's just gorgeous, it's a stunning place. So you come off these passes driving, you know, really really intense driving. Uh, the temperatures on my front tyres are now 54, 55 degrees so it's increasing increasing as we do the switchbacks. 
incredible grip on these Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. If you're thinking of changing from Pirelli's to Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, don't even think about it, just do it. I mean, these tyres are bloody awesome. They make massive difference. And look, I mean, what's not to like? We're about to get some ice cream here with the guys. Um, ice cream and a coffee, and it's just bloody awesome. If you've ever contemplated doing a drive-in tour like this, um, just bloody do it. I mean, it just doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better, guys. So we'll, you'll catch us later on when we, when we pick up more of the roads and when we uh, move towards, I think it's Jirek we're going into next, we're driving towards. So uh, we'll do another update when we're nearing Jirek. And Lake Bresnesy is the area where the hotel is, is um, located. And we're just going through another picturesque town. Um, this might actually be Triburg, I'm not sure. But it's just beautiful areas, this. Beautiful, beautiful areas. So we just crossed the border from Germany into Switzerland. So we're now in Switzerland. And pretty much when we cross the border, all they do is check for the vignette. 
nothing else. One of our guys didn't have a vignette, so we had to wait on the other side, but they just checked the vignette as you go through. Yeah, you've got it, don't really give a damn. So border control is, is pretty nice and easy, um, or so it would seem anyway. We certainly didn't have any issues. But now we're traveling on to our guys back hotel at Lake Bresensee. So we reckon we'll be there in about two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. I think we've got about 50 miles to go now. So yeah, we're just caught in the traffic now. So it's just chill and travel on and we'll get there when we get there. coming into Lake Bresensee, which is where our hotel is, called the Hotel Geisbach. Unfortunately, you know, we're on a great road at the moment, but the traffic's really bad, and you just can't do anything about it. You just can't get past. But look at the scenery in the background. There's the lake now. There's Lake Bresensee. Absolutely awesome. And these roads, look at this overhang. Absolutely incredible. Just wish I could get past this bloody caravan. We'll close out the video when we get back at the hotel. We'll give you a quick show of the of the Geisbach Hotel because it is pretty awesome by all accounts. And then we'll close out the video from the Geisbach Hotel. at Hotel Geisbach. This is Lake Bresensee, which is just awesome. Pan the camera around, you can see. So we've arrived at Hotel Geisbach at Lake Bresensee. Like, I guess it's okay. I don't think much of the view from the balcony though. Look at this! <laughs> that view. We've got our own waterfall. And around to the side, you can't see, but around to the side is Lake Residency, or they call it Lake Brion for short. But it's just awesome, absolutely awesome. Fantastic hotel. So yes, unfortunately we're only staying here one night, but what a night to stay here. Absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna close off with the waterfall in the background. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Fantastic future content to come for all the future days that we're doing this, this Euro trip on. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing, especially if you want to catch this future content coming, then you'll be notified if you press the notification bell. Thanks a, thanks a lot, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.